one was married to David uh, Beckham. Which one is married to David Beckham? That's the one. It's posh spice. Nice. You got there. Well, of course, because she's posh. Yeah, that makes perfect sense. She's scary and she's not like a murderer. (laughs) Welcome to our Spice Girls discussion stream. We've been live for a little bit. (laughs) Oh. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Will didn't tell us we were on. You have to know that if they want to be my lover, they have to get with my friends. You're right. And uh, something about Zig Zig Oz, whatever. Yeah, that's your line. Yeah. If you want to play D&D good. Yeah. yeah. Are, Become a Spice Girl. There are worse mantras you could have. Yeah. Let's be real. All right. Welcome to Ramnica, City yeah. of Thieves, the 5E D&D stream that we do about small-time criminals in the multiverse's biggest city. Uh, Stan. We also struggle with choice. microphones and do other things. My crop. We are on yeah, the cusp of the biggest heist that this crew has ever attempted, oh uh, which we will get to because they have kind of already done the prep and they are <laughs> definitely remember all the prep and all the Absolutely. stuff they're going to do. It's really helpful that my character does not pay attention to yeah, anything. Yeah, yeah, for sure. When I forget something, I'm just like. Great. I don't the, have to dude, the wiggle mic is uh, getting nice. out of control over here. I'm working it. Okay. You know, maybe if you gave us some heads up. <laughs> we're going to this problem. Now, here we are. Uh, then I want to catch all there. that beautiful Spice Girls footage. It's true. Zig-a-zig-a. That was nice. Zig-a-zig-a. I don't even think I know the name of the Spice Girls. Speaking of which. Scary, uh, posh, sporty. Wait, there's scary? Yeah. Scary yeah. Spice. There's two more that I don't You know what? Maybe, we're not. Maybe spice. <laughs> Ginger Spice. Ginger Spice. Yes. The other two guys. kinds of This English is not people. the stream. We're going to move on. Lego Spice. I, I got three of five. That went bad. Lego the Spice? The Bionicle Spice. Was Bionicle Spice? Oh. <laughs> Nike Spice. Pumpkin Spice. Pumpkin Spice. That's a good one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah we okay. did. No, pay All attention. Right. We're right. paying attention Dungeons. now. Okay. Fucking Dungeons and Dragons. Okay. Dungeons and Dragons. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> there are five. Before we get to yeah. the heist, there's something very important that happens to Simic hybrids when they get to level five that we gloss right over. So, flashback. You guys were just finishing your heist plan. You're all together in your shared apartment that you have in Griffin Heights. You are attacked by ghosts. Uh, oh, yeah, I forgot about that. The Loxodon Paladin, uh, Paladin Pogo Basilthwaite barely survived. Everyone else was fine. Yeah. yeah, I did almost die. That was cool. You're welcome. At the end of that fight, everyone's panting, breathing heavily. Oh, are you, like, are you okay, Pogo? And uh, Pigeon's arms explode like hot dogs in a microwave. Dope. Yes. <laughs> Out of her arms come a second pair of crab arms ah! at the shoulder. And then her arms reform almost immediately back to where they were. And then Pigeon passes out. Very cool. I guess we're taking pictures of the doctor. <laughs> I don't Are you pigeons. taking pictures of the doctor? No, no so here's the thing, crab, right? Am I hanging out with you guys when this happens? Or am I oh, yeah, you're there. You were um, there. Oh, yeah. We were... So I have a thing where I can touch her. Like on the forehead or what have you. If you have a way of solving this, I don't need the explanation. Just do it. Cool. I'm going to poke you on the forehead and uh, restore any hit points you might have lost from exploding. That's, that's <laughs> chill. Thank you. Yeah. I appreciate that. Did not lose any hit points, nor is this a thing that you can cure with divine magic. No. Yeah, well. I guess at this point we're just going to kick your body into your room. So does that mean that I'm now conscious, though? Sure. Yeah. You wake just up a couple minutes later. I'm right. kicking you into your just room. Just experimental, like, click-clack. Uh-huh. <laughs> click-clack. <laughs> Now, I believe you can hold objects but not manipulate them, and you can hit people for 1d6 as a bonus action. <laughs> I'm sorry, can you Whoa. imagine fist fighting a little lizard girl, and then all out of nowhere, just a claw, a crab claw just comes out and bah, right in the face? Yep. Yes, yeah. this sounds great. I'm out, done. No, we're, we're Going home. There. The crabby claws. Yeah. Simic hybrid. Crab They're pretty claw. good. The grabby crabby. Actually, is, is one claw she's than sticky, the other claw, she's like pinchy. In, in crabs, or are they both just uh, they're both the same size. And why don't you guys collectively go over the plan that you came up with while I look up the stats for oh, Crab Claws? Right, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to get all the files, put them in a bag. Okay. Where are you ta- that was my part. <laughs> we, are, we, are, we are invading the Azorius Senate buildings, mm-hmm. um, ideally, to free Oleg for some reason. And no, no, no. So, <laughs> that was not on the. No. So we are make, we're using uh, Krenko as a distraction. He's going to break into the jail in one of the three buildings, and we are going to be entering the other building. We have a template of the uh, the forms which we require to get into the record building, and then we 
arson? I forget after that. Uh, you know, we'll wing it. <gasps> we're collecting. We're collecting. Oh no, we're stealing criminal everything. Criminal file. Yeah, cool, we're cool. collecting the original criminal records. Cool. The um, snake lady forward. said she'd show us the tunnels if yeah. we found the shadow mantle. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Dusk mantle here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We're supposed to find the dark jacket. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever you say, darlings. So, yes, you made a deal with Ludmilla. You also made a deal with... Cranko. Uh, Cranko. And which is oh, made a deal more with Arachdos Carnival. I would say also we've arranged Arachdos Carnival yeah, to take place Oh, outside. yeah, we did do that. Mm -hmm. I had forgotten. I just can't remember the... Mordred. That was the Blood Witch's name. Okay, cool. So that's the extent of what you've done. Uh, I have a question for you. Are you coming through with Thought Strands or not? Uh, yes. Sweet. All right. Uh, we will deal with the ramifications of that if and when it comes up. I have to make a poll for the stream. Real cool. Quick. And then we can get started. Can you fly? Very excellent. Not yet, no. Because I'm going to throw you. You should throw me. I am better cannonball. No, that's if you, not the point. I don't know if you can. Uh, I also don't also know if I can. It's kind of obvious. If I could just, like, get into the... Can be very small. No, no, not you. I don't know. I can throw him. You, I can throw. You would be very hard to throw. I am chunky. Maybe if you were like arm? an yeah. orangutan, a very big orangutan. Can we put him in the bag of boars? <gasps> I don't want to go inside. You can have little piggy friends. No, they are very large piggy friends, they and they are hungry for me. Piggy friends. Pigs and. Elephants are natural enemies. I don't think that's true. <gasps> but you both have the tooths. Yeah, that's. The tooths. We have to fight over them. Oh. What about only one allowed to have the walruses tooths? don't exist. They are a myth, fabrication. It's so sad. No walruses. Are we possibly gearing up? No, 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 no. We are having discussion about how walruses are myth. I need rope. Um. So we should go get some rope. Got some rope. Yeah. Our... Every Just good time general. has rope. All right. Publish the poll of what can potentially go wrong during the heist. Which will be <laughs> Thanks, decided by the audiences. audience. Yeah. Uh, and also you guys. You can vote on the poll. Absolutely. This uh, is no, a all voting on the poll. This is a I system. haven't been. I don't know how to do that. <laughs> yeah, betrayed yeah. by an enemy is one of them. Boros declare martial law and violate the treaty with the Azorius. And the third option is the gruel scene opportunity and just come in and start fighting things. Ah. Uh, why do you have to put two good opportunities? <laughs> one of them yeah. is better for me, but the other one is more hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> So we will see what people vote. In the meantime, I believe you guys are doing a preparation montage. Yes, yeah. I'm getting rope. How are you throwing? Where? So I'm going to tie a rope around you, and then I'm going to throw you up through a window. And you're sticky, so you'll stick to the building and get in through the window. And then you'll go down and unlock the door. So here's why that's dumb. Yeah! Because um, I can't throw you. I know. I've heard this. Okay, no. We don't need to break into the building. We have a signet. Yeah, but every good crime involves rope. Yes, so we should bring a rope through the tunnels in the bottom, which you are going through, and... No, the tunnels are how we egress the building. Exactly, and we need a guide, which is why we have rope. It's like this, this string yeah, for the labyrinth. Oh. The labyrinth didn't have a bunch of people living in it. If you had to pick one place on Earth where people weren't likely to steal a random object off the ground, it would be the Azorius Senate. Just weighing <laughs> in. No, I'm more worried about the people of the Undercity stealing it. Yeah. All right. Well, to leave a little trail of, I don't know, do your poops shine or something? <laughs> they would steal that. How they, do you think they make juice? Shiny poops. Oh, yeah, yeah. Who is stealing what? Yeah, they you don't actually need a child. rope because that's what Pigeon does. Like, that's her whole thing. She yeah, but I like to have some city. control of that situation. That's why I have the rope. <laughs> no, actually, it is what it is. Yank her back to the door. Oh, boy. Wait, no, you're yanking me down from the wall? No, no, no. In this the, the rope. The rope is primarily to help you... Get, like get down, but if you wander off, we can just it's like a child leash. Back. Oh, I yeah. see. <laughs> I don't know. That actually sounds like a off. decent. I can't believe that we haven't come up with the baby backpack for mm -hmm. pigeon before now. I feel like putting a, a harness on leash, pigeon would be very leash. similar to what happens when you I'm put a harness on a cat. Just through like through the street. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it, it also helps me uh, have a little more control over throwing her so that we don't lose her if I overshoot. All right. So the way your claws actually work is um, you can attack with them instead of a weapon. They are 1d6. They count as a natural weapon. You have proficiency with them. If you hit with one of your claws, as a bonus action, you can attempt to grapple for free. So they're just really good at hitting people and grabbing them. 
Give some to Krabby's. <laughs> I mean, that's what happens when you have two extra <laughs> arms. Mm -hmm. with power. Okay, so it would appear that the group does not have a plan. No. Do we ever? <laughs> Uh, we're gonna go in. We're gonna start looking for these files, yeah, and before we get like right when we try to get I to the confidential that. areas, that's in theory I when the Rakdos yeah, party I'm across like town is gonna start drawing away everyone else. And you yeah. go around and open I the door. I think we should just do flashbacks too. Mm. Yeah. Just sort of uh, yeah, people as aren't needed. People are paying to watch us do planning. <laughs> you asked we for planning. Yeah, All right. This is not the time for this. Now. Okay. In the future, we so, should plan hey, off camera. I planned our entrance. I thought somebody else would carry the rest. Do you guys have inspiration? This is your plan. Um, no. I. Have. Yeah, actually, I have a plan. Okay, so uh, you can use inspiration to make a flashback where you retroactively prepare things. Oh, thank God. Meanwhile, across the city, uh, there are a bunch of so there, like there are mystical subway tunnels. Like this is a real thing in Ravnica. They have subways. Uh, cool. Elsewhere in Ravnica, a bunch of normal people are trying to go to work, and the subway tunnel, the subway car that they're in, fills with goblins who are armed to the teeth. <laughs> Uh, meanwhile, in the pits of Rick's Mahdi, a woman dressed in the vestments of their order raises her hands and there is a scream of psychotic carnies who are all very excited to put on a show. And the pit of fire that she is standing over, a creature who is ten feet tall and has four horns on his head that you know is, is Vargul, rises out of it. It's like, I am ready to celebrate. Everyone's like, "Woo!" A bunch of people throw knives and fucking shurikens everywhere. Cool, cool. Yeah, see, I can't a little bit of blood splatter, cheering. Okay. Yep. Um, I got a plan. Just everyone relax. Alana, while you're on the street, somebody bumps into you, and then you feel the added weight of thought strands in your purse. Uh, these are thoughts stolen from Azorius bureaucrats that will let you pass a detect thoughts check with no roll. Alright. That's very cool. cool. Yeah, but this is not good. <laughs> no, it's fine. All of this works into my plan perfectly. While you guys are bickering, the wheels you set in motion uh, start happening. Yeah, cool. we should get to, to the place we need to be. Has everybody got the disguises still? Yep. I have these. How am I going to cover up the new arms that I got? It's fine. We'll work it in. I got I... a plan. <laughs> I'm in my right, Azorius disguise completely. Don't yeah, even look like that. on board. Yeah. Kira is like not. So <laughs> it's gonna be fine. Okay, uh, let's see what happens. Okay, so right. how are you approaching the where Azorius? We're are, are escorting them in, like a uh, Han Solo, yes. Luke Skywalker criminal style. Yes, cool. Is that what we're doing? Yes. Sure. Okay. It's a tried and true class. I have like three transformations. I could do. I could just be real small and in somebody's pocket. You're trying to be a tiny that? little pet mouse in my pocket? Yes, I would love to be a tiny pet mouse in your pocket. That sounds adorable. <laughs> I want it. That's what we're doing now. Okay, so you are two, two Azorius investigators bringing... Oh, uh, one Boros, one Azorius. One Boros, one Azorius investigator bringing this Orzov Paladin, or do you want to wear a disguise? No, I'm going as Pogo. Going as Pogo. <laughs> bringing Pogo up on charges. We caught him for loitering. Oh, man. That sounds right. <laughs> we, we need to process this person for racketeering. <laughs> Nobody knows what it is. <laughs> just, yeah, yeah. All right. <laughs> all right. Uh, so, and in Pogo's voluminous pockets is one very sneaky mouse. No. Sneaky, sneaky mouse. <laughs> and then another mouse that's pigeon. <laughs> oh, no. And then we have to battle. Roll initiative. <laughs> this is my pocket, bitch. <laughs> All right, no, that doesn't happen. Pulls uh, out a tiny mouse knife. Uh -huh. <laughs> Ship. <laughs> you're just playing uh, Mouse Heart or whatever that RPG is. Uh, There's an RPG where you can just play as mice. Like a yeah, Mouse Guard. Okay. Is the Red, red is. Wall the RPG? It's yeah, actually nice. Thing. Red. We're playing that after it's this. A lot of okay. food scenes. You're playing that right now. All right. Anyway, <laughs> yeah. so do you guys show up before or after the absolute shit show of fucking before. chaos? That's about to happen. Before the chaos. Just before. We have to get through security before the chaos begins, so then they will lose track of us once we're inside. Okay. I want someone to pick a skill and justify it to me uh, for actually showing, like, coordinating that, because it's, there's a non-zero chance of failure. Insight? <laughs> Insight will work. Cool. I didn't have to justify anything, because that just kind of makes sense. I have advantage on this because of my shield. I have... Mm. What 13. did I get? Roll it again! Yeah? Yeah. yeah it's got, right. I've got advantage. It's still 13. Still 13. So, 
I get, plus my wisdom, plus my proficiency bonus, is a 15. Hey! 16! We got that. 17. 17. 17. What are you adding? It's actually 17. 20. 25. 7,000! <laughs> okay, so. Uh, the two people who have brought Pogo in on charges, which he might actually have warrants out. You guys have no I idea. I probably yeah, do. It's fine, I got that covered. Uh, Most of them are for stalking Kim. <laughs> yeah, and I will keep enforcing them. So <laughs> you didn't even you file. You live together. It gets really They were filed by a concerned third party. Yeah. <laughs> this is weird. I'm tired of watching this every day as you walk by my bakery. Uh -huh. uh, uh, you guys arrive on the scene. You can see in the uh, shadow of these three prismatic triangular towers, and fountains everywhere, perf like white marble with not a speck on it like this is 100 percent angles and order and law it's azorius all the way there are sky knights flying through the sky you see a sphinx up there uh there's a bunch of people going about their very legitimate business uh and for, those, we. Yeah, very for, legitimate. for those of you who have a more chaotic bent yeah. to you this place is like an anathema to you it feels weird <laughs> I would like to uh, whisper down to Pigeon, uh, I'm going to pull you out of my pocket, and if you could poop on the marble, that would be dope. <laughs> Stop talking to yourself. I will not. Pulls mouse out of pocket, like pulls it I over like marble. Like <laughs> All right. Uh -huh. Pogo, I would like a sleight of hand check, please. Cool, cool. <laughs> sleight of hand is dexterity, Do so I this is a minus one. No, you're, well? You don't have to roll anything. <laughs> what did I get? That's a four. Okay, so I got a three. Oh my god. <laughs> so you, this is the worst idea ever. <laughs> you absolutely mortify a uh, Azori a passing Azorius functionary. Yes! Who <laughs> just watches you like pull out a mouse, boop! <laughs> and then you just look at her like, what? <laughs> and she just looks at both of you like, what is what is happening? Thank God you finally caught him. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, now slap. Yeah, uh, we are. This man needs to be off the streets. <laughs> yes. he, he was uh, very difficult to catch. <laughs> okay, we're well, gonna want to go to the Liev building. Yes. And get him detained right away. Yes. And I'll have some. I'll see to this. I'll just. She just d uses press the digitation and cleans the poop immediately. Just thank no. you. All right, so we're gonna take him to the Liev building. Okay. Is that where we wanted to go? It doesn't really matter. I'm not making any assumptions about what you guys want or have planned Is at this point because you have not. I, mean, I have a plan, weirdly enough. <laughs> it has prison records, but uh -huh. it is the prison. All right. Oh, okay. That's yeah. Relax, you're wanted. not going to jail. <laughs> I mean, we're all going to jail. <laughs> Was that in character? Yes. <laughs> okay, I need you to do uh, a stealth check. <laughs> okay. Or deception. Uh, either or. Uh, deception. Because that's the kind of thing that does not fly. I got a 10. <laughs> uh, so a passing knight turns and is just like, excuse me? Well, he's not going to jail for the Boros. All right, roll me another deception <laughs> check. This one's significantly harder. Uh, 18. 18 will do it. She's like... He sees it. He just lucky. sees my just insane eye roll, just like, oh, sweet Jesus. I can't believe this is how this adventure is. Right, right. Like, just, like, she, like, she's just annoyed at everything happening, and it's just like... He right. mutters something about Boros Cowboys and then walks away. Yeah. All right, so yeah, you... because you're a cowboy. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, Alana, I'm going to need a deception check from you to get past the security of this building. You're right. going to bookings. Someone roll me a D20. Glad. 17. Oh, well, 23. <laughs> so, as if you've been doing this your whole life, you flash the Azorius signet with the falsified paperwork that you did make. Uh, they look at Pogo and then curtly nod and uh, send you in. It is, uh, I will say, at this time that uh, <laughs> about a couple seconds after that, two goblins jump on the table and stab that guy in the neck. <laughs> cool. I'm glad we're the last thing he ever thought about. Yeah. Boy, that was a weird group of... <laughs> 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 we're busting you out, boys! Krenko has a bunch of goblins around him. Uh, they are they have long sticks that they are poking people out of the way with. Some of them in the back. like They've formed a protective ring around Krenko, and the front line is pikes, and the middle is people throwing actual firebombs. What would you like to do? Uh, since he's dressed up as he is as an Aurora's up night, uh, we're just all three going to scatter and run through the building screaming. SCATTER! <laughs> screaming, oh my god, a goblin assault. <laughs> just to try to get people panicked. Okay, roll me an intimidate check. Oh, and now I'm going to do that too. <laughs> uh, Surprisingly 16. enough, 
I'm good at intimidating. 16. Uh, works intimidation. pretty well. You've increased the chaos significantly. Yeah, that's going to be how we get out of this building into the other building. Oh, man. Yeah, the, the plan. <laughs> it's working perfectly. It is! All right. Man, Anybody sure. else have stuff they want to do? Um, I, I, why is it so hard to believe that I actually thought about this? Okay. I'm looking for Again, the pri- I'm looking for prison records. Or, 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 or I shouldn't well, say like, court records. This far. Actual okay. charge records. Right, Pogo. And then you're on deck. I am going to uh, lead the charge of the... Is there any security guards remaining at this point, or is they all dead? Uh, the security guards have not yet arrived. There is, like, one guy on deck nearby who is... Uh, I will say cowering because that's a lot of goblins and firebombs. Cool, cool. I'm going to yell oh, at him. What was about to I'm going to run and get help. You stay here and cower like a good boy. Okay. He has a table set up. He's hiding behind it. He's cool, like, cool. Uh, try not to get stabbed. That would be very sad. We're going to be best friends later. I'm not paying you for this. I know what you want. <laughs> you don't have to pay me. He looks at you with like suspicion and fear. It's a free security okay. sample. Yeah. I'm just going to demonstrate my prowess by going to... Never mind, I don't... We're in the middle of an assault. I don't have to justify myself to you! <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm going to run to... Uh, what's the building with the, the fancy records in it? That's going to be the one next door. Yeah, cool, that's I'm gonna go we're there. all running to. Yeah, we're all running there. Okay, so you run outside. Uh, yep. There is a carnival happening outside. Cool. Um, that means good for us. Not, not for me. Yeah, because we can move through the carnival without the difficult terrain. I don't nearby? look like me at all. No, but oh. that's still the ability we you get. You nearby? Hmm? Go ahead and uh, make all my shit look like Rakdosi. Well, that's easy. Um, just like for just like, like 10, of 10 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, before we get to that, you wanted to look for prison records. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Here. Yes. See, the plan's working. That's, that's, I just want, I want, not necessarily prison records, I want people's criminal records, like the original copies, so that we can you take them and they can't be used in court. All right. If you want to do a thorough search and end up separated from the party, you can roll without disadvantage. If you want to just wreck the place and find shit really fast, you're going to be rolling investigate with disadvantage. No, I'm totally doing it on my own. Like, okay. Yeah, good. Let's do it. That's perfect. Yeah. All right. Someone roll me a d20. I've been doing a good job. Yeah, wow. right? Like, <laughs> What? No, no. doing that. You had to toot your own horn. I don't have a horn. You have a tusky. trunk. Whoa. Nat twenty. Oh, so All right, well, nat twenty, and then I got two, so twenty-two. It's still. Okay. Uh, what were? Is there anything in particular you wanted to find? Um. Honestly, like the the First major. First and foremost, all of our criminal records. Well, yeah, like our us four, <laughs> You're gonna and do then. A lot more baggage space. Well, us four, and then ideally, like any of the bigwigs that we've had dealings with. Mm-hmm. Um, Cranko, Oleg, uh, Persephone, right. the so, lady with the, yeah, what's her Mila. face, the Gorgon, yeah. yeah. Here's what happens. You're running around, you're like booking it for the records and investigation part of this facility. Uh, everyone else is running in the opposite direction. You see an office, and then Liev and the, uh, Elana, the two people who you know are investigating you guys, burst out of an office with their weapons drawn, uh, they look at you, clearly don't recognize you, just like, get somewhere safe and take cover. And then they run to, like, go <laughs> nice. deal with the situation. They are just like, yes. You go into nice. their office. And I've, like I've, a, had mo- I've had moments like this in real life before, and it is such a glorious <laughs> feeling <laughs> on the inside. Just in your head just triggers a, a endorphins. It's like, yes. You go through the doorway. <laughs> the office has, like, all of the information about you guys. Is there, like, a picture, bunch of pictures with string? Yeah, there's a crazy string diagram. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas is playing as you're, like, sho- shoving <laughs> shit into your like bag. rearranging the string. <laughs> <laughs> you just take your picture off. <laughs> I t- I'll remove a couple things and change up a couple things. and Because right. if I remove it all, it's not I don't see how the kitchen connects to Cranko, but <laughs> I guess that's how we had it before. Right? <laughs> Why would right. anyone change it? That's yeah. so weird. That's oddly specific. <laughs> right, so I have a lot of information for you later. Okay. About various cool, medical cool. things that yeah. are happening. And then I would have to say, um, who else have we, have we met? My, oh, and then the what's his face that holds his contract. Oh, uh, the Baron. The Baron. The Baron. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. I'm gonna look for his records too. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you're like so. The people of interest in this are you guys, uh, the Demir. Uh, weirdly enough, the Izits are under investigation. Oh, cool. well, yeah, I'm going to take anything that has to do with Explodey possible yeah, yeah. any of the color goo that she fell in orange. Yeah. yeah. Orange Age goo. Orange? Yeah. Any, yeah the, the anything. I'm going to look at like just see if anything comes up. The... Real quick glance. Anyone who has like orange goo or something and they're th- tagging it, taking it. Yeah. What you're able Oh, and Clarence. Clarence? Clarence. Who's Clarence? From the Is It Guild. He's the one who's looking for Pigeon. 
Oh, right. Uh, Clarence is from the Simic Guild, very close. There's two different weird science guilds. Mm -hmm. uh, the Izzet makes technology, sort of, and the Simic makes crazy Well, I just mutants. had a note of his yeah, name, yeah. so yeah, I'm looking for uh, him, too. For clarification purposes. Yeah. But what you, basically what you discover, uh, you, you really don't have time to, like, I don't have time to read any of this. I'm just looking at stuff quick as I can. If it looks like it might make sense or, like, why I might need it, shoving it away. Like, not I have no idea the details right now. But basically what you... Uh, get a image of is that these people are investigating some sort of criminal conspiracy that involves the Demir, Rakdos, Simic, and Izzet guilds. Um, Interesting. Cool, cool. And cool, it also cool. confirms what I know some of about. the information that you have received from a third party, mm -hmm. that there may or may not be a schism. Do I have the time to look for a name, the uh, Bo? Uh, yes, you do. All right, I'm going to look for Bo. Okay, you can pull his file too, oh. or what they have on him. All right, so all kinds of you made out like Nat a bandit. Nat 20's great. Yeah, <laughs> gotta love Nat 20s when they matter. Meanwhile, yeah. Fonz, what are you doing? I'm breaking into the records hole. Okay. Same panic. All right, so you can, you're going to try and get across the street without getting into a fight. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to need a whatever role you want to justify for that. Stealth will work. You have advantage because you're in your natural element. All right, hey, Nat 20s yeah. all around. Um, that's a lot. Uh, where is that? 25. Nice. Stealth's one of my skills. Which is weird, because you are a giant minotaur. Clip-clop, yeah. as it were. I just blend Silent into the background. All right. <laughs> You're just like, so, naturally finding hiding spots. Yeah. That are perfectly what I was going to do is have you run into Vargul. But with a natural 20 stealth roll, you actually manage to hide from him. Uh, you can feel his presence. Like, the people within... I haven't felt that presence in such a long time. Since... Uh, <laughs> people within 60 feet of this demon just start killing each other. Like, just straight up. Uh, two bureaucrats walking down the street. One of them sees Vargul, grabs the other person by the neck, and is just like, Rah! Uh, uh, Good times. You're not directly in his line of sight, and you've experienced this before, so you're able to resist that without having to roll for it because you rolled a natural 20 stealth. I'm not going to do that to you. Uh, you're able to get away. But you feel like he is looking for you. There's like a second where you're like, you run across an alleyway, and like Vargul looks right as you're like behind something, and you're able to like get away. Thank God yeah. there are a lot of minotaur shaped objects around. Yeah, mm -hmm. Super convenient. Yeah. Stack a lot up of like upsetting that. shapes. Yeah. A lot How of upsetting Vargul shapes. Vargul be looking for you. <laughs> to make sure I'm doing stuff. Oh yeah. Make sure you're killing people. Yeah. Which I will get to, but first I got to do my part. They got the uh, the people on the crazy pinwheels that they're rolling around and running people over with. They got people on stilts just whipping other people. They got little imps running around, cackler setting things on fire. It's great. Oh yeah. man! They, you get the I feeling think like in Pogo's pocket, you can see the remnants. You can see the remnants of a stage, like there was a show, but it has turned into a riot <laughs> almost immediately. Cool, cool. That's what we wanted. Yeah. Cool, yeah. All right. Uh, it's a good you're able to see the tail end of uh, the first wave of Azorius soldiers forming a phalanx around this entire thing, and sort of like boxing them in and hitting them with. Yeah. Good. Detention and That's sleep perfect. magic so that yeah. they'll like stop rioting. Uh, perfect. That's exactly what we want. All right. What are you doing? Uh, I'm getting, trying to get into the Hall of Records now. Okay. Uh, you don't have the Azura signet with you. Correct. I'm going to go ahead and slap in here. Okay. Um, so, currently not looking like a lactose maniac, um, I'm going to run up to the phalanx, bravely fighting off uh, lactose crazy people directly in front of the. Uh, the, the the Azorius, right? And um, I'm going to direct them to uh, go help in the um, the prison building because there's going to be a riot starting there very soon because of a certain gobo that I saw. And I ran bravely over here to, yes, yeah, so please go help them. Okay, so I'm going to need a couple rolls to pull this off. Sweet, sweet. First, I need you to kick somebody's ass. So cool. make me an attack roll. Hiya. Yeah. Oh, God. Wow. <laughs> Do it. Doing your best. 15, though. Uh, plus Pierce rolling four good too. is yeah. 19. 19. So you do, in fact, beat ass. Cool, cool. Huh. Second thing I need you to do is roll a persuasion check, because these people need to believe that you are not affected by the Rakdos yeah. psychopathy. Because mm -hmm. you could just Man, be... I'm doing terrible. You could just be beating ass for no reason. Uh, that is a natural run. If anybody would like to inspire us... There's a riot in the prison! <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, shit. It got to him. Either Those way, ranks. this works out for my plan. Yeah, actually, I'm this, not there, I, so I could roll with this. That's fine. Just start beating ass. Let's see. I could. What do I got? Remember, we have an alternative escape route. 
Yeah, but what did you what did you fail? What were you trying to the do? The persuasion part. I have zero. <laughs> you pop out as a rat. No, it's true. <laughs> oh my god. I don't I don't believe you. Does anybody have inspirations they could use to help me re-roll this? I, I don't. I will. Okay. I'll use up one of my inspiration to help. You want Aww. it. Do you want me to yeah. roll it for you? That's a 16. Uh, cool, which is plus... I mean, um, is about to happen. Persuasion which is I'm going to be a, a 20 total. All right. So just to make it more interesting, uh, the so they stop. The phalanx is just, like, very unsure about this whole situation. There's really no reason for them to drop a shield, shield wall at this point. Uh, then there's, like, a moment, and then you hear a voice that you recognize from the back of the phalanx, and he's like, so you finally figured out what side you're on. It's Liev. Oh, hey, Bobby. It's good to see you doing the right thing. Let's go to the prison. You, me, you four. Let's go. Oh, no. Yeah, well, let's roll with this. All of this is working out. All of this is fine. Everything's fine. It's all part of the plan. <laughs> yeah. If you make the plan fluid enough, anything can be rolled with. Just that exciting, is true. exciting things are happening in rapid succession. So basically, is, what you're saying is we planned for none of this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I knew we could go with it. The plan I'm is still just in working. Your pockets, and now I'm also going to prison with no, you. No, no, no. I'm going to drop you as I'm going so by. You stepped on? Yeah. <laughs> just, you're just gonna. Right. I mean, I guess then I need to. It's like Rudy. <laughs> How do I even? What do I? What do I even roll to be like? Do I survive this? This you dropping me into a crowd of people. Stealth. <laughs> As a tiny mouse thing. It's probably gonna be pocket. a reflex save. I'm gonna be real with you. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm doing it. All right. All right. So wait, you're pigeon. What would you like to do? Yeah. Um. Well, I, we're still trying to get towards this building. It's I'm the making only my thing way I know. So if, can I? Is there a way that I could see you, or do I know where you're gonna be? I think I told you what the plan is. You can roll a perception check. See yeah, if you I'm can. Yeah, roll a perception check. See him running into the building. Oh, boy. I got a nine. I'm a goddamn ghost. I think I can see some horns, but <laughs> I'm not sure. Well, you know we're here to steal records. Yeah, Could so I just start going make a perception door. check to try to, you know, sort of whisper Throw down to right Pedro? Direction. In the right direction? <laughs> no, just uh, tell you what direction to go. Because oh. I'm not throwing you. I don't have any sleight of hand. Throwing would just be athletics. <laughs> well, yeah, but it's not exactly stealthy at that point. I'm clearly throwing a mouse for some reason. Don't let anybody look. Sometimes you get in a fight and you get a mouse on you. You gotta throw it. Like that's true. You that's not screaming. Like, I'm an elephant. We are afraid of mice. Oh, that's like bottom yeah, ten crazy yeah. things. I'm going to find a mouse, mouse and rip it off and throw it. I'm going to uh, see if I can find fawns. I have advantage on this though because it is perception. Please, Please roll again. No. Cool. No, I will I'm take the uh, perception is wisdom. I will take a twelve. Okay. So the important thing that I need to establish is: Are you going with Pogo, or are you going to do something else? I'm going towards the the records building. Squeaky, okay. squeaky, squeaky. Squeak, so you squeak, head towards the yeah. records building. Uh, are you providing your assist via gallop. throw? Yes. Okay. So <laughs> like, Pogo's like, mouse. okay, I got to deal with whatever's happening right now. Grab the mouse, throw it. Liev <laughs> like looks at you. We are afraid of mice. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> this doesn't even question it. Mice are dirty. No, no, this person has a file on like your activities and choices in the last couple months, so this checks. Like, <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. All right, Alana, Jersey. what would you like to do? Uh, I mean, I kind of got the files, and everyone's like criminal yeah, you, records. You are, this is the rendezvous point. Yeah. yeah. You got you in. You got the files. Yeah, yeah I was honestly get just out. getting criminal records, so I'm on my way out. Yeah. All right. Um, where are we what does the poll say? I think it might be go time. All right. Um, oh, boy. What horrible thing is about to happen? All right, oh, so I'm going to have to say I'm still in full disguise, and I'm going to have to, and I'm going to definitely, like, work on getting on my way out. Okay. Uh, so you... Briefcase full of shit. You have, like, literally papers and pictures of your face are falling out of it. Uh, yeah. While a goblin prison riot is happening, uh, you come back inside... Running the uh, attempt to gain control over the craziness inside this building is Alana. And you feel her mind touch yours immediately. Like, she has to tech thoughts on. She is reading every person's thoughts that she can to try and find uh, the, the, uh, the Dawkins uh, investigator. You had uh, the uh, thought noodles, though. But she, he said the Alana, thindles. and I was like, my, uh, Elana. Elana. Oh, I thought was, oh, sorry. Oh, I said Alana. So, so I was like, all right, I'm confused. Makes eye contact with you. You feel her mind touch yours, and then hit a thought strand that you had preemptively 
installed uh-huh. about uh, like bureaucracy. Saving yeah. your life's work. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And oh she just gives yes, you a pass numbers. because you're also in disguise. Yeah. She's just like, <laughs> but she doesn't stop you because she's like, you do not want to go out there. I don't know where you're going. Don't go Away. outside. It's not safe out there. Go back up to the office and hide. I mean, I guess I'll do that. Do you have stealth? I do have stealth, but I have to try to sneak faster. Juked! She's <laughs> looking right at me. I can't just no, stealth. Just, okay, I'll do that. Walk out of the yeah, that's what I was saying. I was going to do that okay. and get where I was going. Then I was either going to turn invisible and try just to move my way out. Yeah. or Yeah, just go. Swear! <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm trying to think. Is there any, like... Alternately, get some bad. Is there any like alternate stairs? Right in front of her and be like, I'll be fine. <laughs> no, <laughs> you don't know who you're talking to. I've achieved a perfect no. enlightenment. I'm fading away into rules. <laughs> <laughs> Come along. No. Why is the paperwork going? <laughs> Wait. Okay. What are you actually doing? She, I mean, she'll go away and hide. So in theory, what's her face thinks that she's back upstairs. Um, would there be any other like stairwells that don't go directly through the prison? Even like a uh, Dumb waiter hatch. Anything that she could use to get around the fighting quietly. All right. You can do perception to look for it physically. You can do history to just know where it is. I'll do perception. Like, I don't know history. Is, well, history is better, though. Sure, I'll do history. All right. Alana's lived her whole life. She's got a rich, wealthy family. Maybe she knows something. You, Someone's going to have to do it for me. I'm too far away. You sunshine of the spotless mind and remember every boring 15. conversation you've had with... All right. Uh, Un- unnatural 20. <laughs> Re- regulations about mandation of fire escapes and where they would be in a building this size. All right. So that's like some awesome pillow talk. Yeah. yeah. And then you were able to find an alternate. Also escape. thought strand. Also thought strands. No. <laughs> she oh. knows a little bit about the building. Let's say let's let's go with that. She knows yeah. a little bit about the building from that. Hmm. So yeah, I guess she'll try to make her way towards like a external or out of the way like safety hatch, fire escape, something. Okay. Uh, you are able to get to this fire escape. And who do you meet on the fire escape except naked with manacles still around yes! his wrists uh, with a salvaged weapon, uh, Oleg, is in the fire escape. Oh, I was hoping it was Steve. <laughs> no. You still need to find I thought he was naked with manacles on. <laughs> Why would he have sure. manacles? Maybe he hadn't taken them off yet. <laughs> so is he, like, unchained then? Like yeah, he, just... he appears to have escaped from a prison. Okay. Um, is he naked? That's a good question. Be. You know what? What does it matter? Oleg, be my muscles and we'll get out together. <laughs> oh, sorry. I did not recognize you. Yeah. What are you doing Ch- here? Changes her face. It's Alana. Puts it back. Like, <laughs> Don't do that again. <laughs> that was upsetting. <laughs> sorry, darling. Stupid Oleg. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> oh, idiot. <laughs> All right. Part, you know, he part of the group to bust you out. Okay. <laughs> at cheap. that very moment, uh, there is a rumbling... Uh, there is a, a bunch of Boros people at the very edge of Azorius territory with coffee, just kind of watching. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> uh, there's a rumble in the ground, and there's circular ripples in the coffee. And the Boros people say, "Ah, oh, shit!" And then, <laughs> from the center of the Azorius Plaza, a worm, like picture Dune, but a little bit smaller, and the mouth has teeth, <laughs> explodes out of the ground Purple with worm. a horrible, oh. like. Keening roar, and a bunch of previously hidden in various alleyways and uh, also up high, uh, people in furs who look very excited to just fight anyone they can, show up and start wrecking shit. This has gone from a like category what? one containable riot to a no longer containable riot mm-hmm. <laughs> with the arrival of the gruel. Cool, cool. Excellent. This Sounds very fun. fun. Yeah. And then Oleg the well. looks to you and he and he's it was like. Shining, like almost crying. He's just like, You did this for me? <laughs> <laughs> well, just got a cut to commercial yeah. and come right back. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> Your adventure days are over. No, yeah. it's fine. It's fine. It's just about to take an arrow. Yes. Thank you. That's yeah. Right. Okay. We yeah. are back and live. Woo. Hello. Hello. Uh, Hello. The, Hello. I'm, I'm Sven. The controlled distraction riot has uh, been third partied by the gruel and turned into a. <laughs> uh, Uncontrollable it's murder party. Deadly riot. It's good. Yeah. Lots of people are dying. Uh, the foundations of this building are being chipped away at. The structural integrity of the new prof building will never be the same. And also, there's a fucking worm just going 
ham on citizens, like a like a the baleen of a whale, just <laughs> running across the ground, oh, God. munching on bureaucrats. It's great. You did this stream. How's it yeah. me? You did this. <laughs> I think munching on bureaucrats should be our new uh, criminal group name. Ooh. Party starters, okay. munching on bureaucrats, EST. <laughs> yep, yep. Year 9,786. MDS. Yep. yep. All right, so what smash cut back to uh, Oleg, who has been uh, bamboozled by circumstance into thinking that you have orchestrated a prison riot so that he could escape, asks you uh, whether or not you did this for him. She pats him on the cheek and just, two birds with one stone, darling, let's go. What does that mean? <laughs> Uh, he'll follow you, though, because... Uh, seems like an efficient use of birds. Apparently, this is part of the plan. Well, it like, is. He doesn't seem like a thinker, so... Yeah. Nah. I mean, she only threw him under the bus for her own benefit. Like, the least she could do is take but her he take doesn't, mother. He doesn't know that. Well, yeah, but I'm just saying she knows that. <laughs> okay, so, are you guys headed to the administrative building? Yeah, right where now, the extraction the point is, yeah. Okay, so you guys are just getting out. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, in that case, you need to only go through the prison riot and not. So the extraction point is going to be downstairs in the jail itself. Uh, invisible. At which point you'll be able to find an access tunnel and go to the sewers. Awesome. Yeah, just go invisible. Got Oleg. Go and ghost. Yes! Yeah. Go and hey. ghost! <laughs> okay, so... Oleg will be fine. He's him's big boy. He is a big yeah, boy. Yeah, plus we didn't have to. His friends him. are outside. True. Yeah. Still He's be fine. We gotta get He's naked. They'll recognize him immediately. Yeah, exactly. I know, <laughs> I know that, that anywhere. Way mm-hmm. anywhere. I know that shadow. I know that ass <laughs> anywhere. That's right. Ravnica's ass. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Anyway. Ship yep. it. Podcast over. Yep, we're done. <laughs> okay, meanwhile, uh, in the administrative building, these three jabronis, uh, I think, run into each other coming down a triangular hallway that meets like this. All three of you were coming down different sides and run into each other. Ah, nice. oh, good. We all met here. Excellent. <laughs> Part of the play. <laughs> yes. I'm glad you got my last minute addition. All right, let's go. I am a, a, per, a person now, or as close to a person as Pigeon gets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I'm actually going to go fight because yes. I'm bored. That's the plan. Did you not get the last minute addition? I am illiterate for things that are boring. Go. Okay. Right, so <laughs> if you're not going to be helpful, just go. Playing I'll take sounds pigeon. Like mm-hmm. All right, so... He was definitely paying attention. As if on cue, I want to fight because I'm bored. Uh, you guys are standing in the middle of the hallway. You're not in disguise. You are in disguise. You're not in disguise. Yeah. Uh, I mean, my head is covered, but I'm not, like... Out of the out. sort of walls of this uh, maze of bureaucracy come several soldiers and one guy who looks like he's in charge he's just like uh my apologies for the inconvenience but you are now under arrest you're unauthorized personnel you're not supposed to be here we're going to take you somewhere safe detain you and interrogate you and there's two ways we can do that which which hall like there's we so, are at a, a fun little fun little three-way intersection. Three uh, hallways. I think, I think so there's a captain and two guys, yeah. and then two guys, and then Five. two guys. I think we just, yeah, we oh, just we're surrounded. Yes, you're uh, surrounded. Oh, this I is a fight. You guys are fighting. Okay. Well. No, I'm going to try to diplomacy this real quick. <laughs> um, no, we're oh, supposed really? to be here. No, no, no. Uh, I have been deputized by the Azorius. Uh, Mr. Liev came and told me so. I am supposed to be fighting people. Um. So, who, who are you to tell me no? Uh, I am also a captain of the Azorius, so if you were deputized, you would be working for me. And I am telling you that you're going to be detained and put somewhere safe. What's a, I'm actually sort of proficient in the whole uh, riot quelling thing. I'm offering you my assistance. I think it would, you know, perhaps behoove you to accept. The best way that you can assist me is by being detained and going somewhere safe. This is no longer fun cooperation times, okay? There is murder happening outside. Are yeah, we in the same I would like building? to participate. Okay. <laughs> Does he speak for you? No. Never mind. Does he look like he speaks for Roll you? Roll initiative. Of course. <laughs> Roll me a wisdom save, please. He's going to cast whole person on your face. Sweet. Got him. Uh, wisdom. I'm gonna go ahead and get my bag of boars out. Because <laughs> I'm definitely going to release an animal. I got or whatever that animals. says. That's an eight. Cool, cool. And, um, I'm trying to remember if I have, at this level, level five, 
Und du, du, du. Are we in the same building? Uh, you have not made it to the building yet. There's, but it is um, the building we are extracting from. Yeah, there's a whole shit. Sh you can actually extract from any building you want. Ludmilla has that power. Uh, yes, but the plan specifies we all get together to make sure we all get out together. Hey. Okay, so we're not. In the My point is, there's no way we're gonna pass these guys on our <laughs> way down. No. Okay, just get out of here. Uh, yeah. So I got a wisdom, you say? Yes. I got a twelve. Twelve? Not gonna do it. Cool. So you are he. Just like, okay, I can't have this conversation with you right now. I, in the name of the Azores, detain you! And a bunch of triangles appear around your body and prevent you from moving. Cool. Uh, How do I break that? The rest of the people are going to uh, gently hit you with the flat of their blades until you stop moving. <laughs> I thought they were just like gently going to punch you. <laughs> <laughs> gently tickle you into submission. Yeah. <laughs> so you haven't actually started like fighting them yet, so they're not going to use lethal force, but they are going to hit you. Cool. All right. All right, so that's going to be two that's attacks for each of you. All right. Versus Pogo. Can, can we uh, vote for Bishon's crab arms to burst out of a jacket ah! and make one of them like, holy shit. Well, I rolled very poorly against you, so that may be what happened. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Stumbles and falls and blocks yet. the other we guy. We got a mutant. All right, and they're going to swing on you. Uh, Dude, the highest so one money. is going to be a... Talking about a uh, twelve. That is my armor class. Great. He hits you with a spear. Perfect. You have twelve armor class. Yeah. That's terrible. Four. A rogue. Nine damage. Okay. Got him. I'm still alive. You're still alive? Yeah. All right. You're not level one anymore. All right. So your guys' go. You can go uh, whatever order you want. I would like to. Uh, I could make a bonus attack after dashing, or if I move twenty or more feet. So I'm just gonna bull rush these guys. <laughs> bah! Yeah. It's go time. Now, now that they stab me, I'm just gonna bull rush past them and try to flee. I will give you inspiration if part of your charging is shedding your disguise, revealing yourself to be a racto psychopath. Sure. <laughs> All right. Roll your attack roll, please. What are, which hallway are we aiming for? I don't know. I'm just which going down the hallway. Like, they all connect the same place. Do they? I'm yeah, not sure how do you think all we got hallways here? lead to Rome. <laughs> the Azorius, I mean, so there is only hallways. <laughs> no, no, but all the all hallways. All of them lead to this one it's a intersection circle. for dramatic purposes. Yeah, we're just at the center of the circle. And then we're going to take separate spokes. So the nature of this labyrinth is such that if you escape down any path, you're going to be able to get to where you want to go. Excellent. Yeah. All right. A hall of records. Right. Yes. Fair enough. That's a three number. Oh, uh, I'm going to... Reroll that. Close ranks! I would like to. You're spending your inspiration immediately? I had an inspiration to begin Okay, cool. Yeah. Uh, what a. 17, you know. Uh, which is much better. That's a 19. That hits. Oh, that's cool. Uh, they take 1d6 piercing damage from my horn. Got him. Five. Five damage. Let me write it down. As I try to escape this combat. I do one of them, like, take off my helmet and be like, all right, I'll come with you guys and, like, throw it at him. <laughs> 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 So wait, are we doing flashbacks or are we expending inspiration? You can uh, do, do a flashback either. by spending inspiration if you want. Okay, well, I think I'll do that. Okay, what are you doing? Um, I'm going to spend my last inspiration. I gave this guy okay. <laughs> a, I don't even know, like anything, just, uh, let's say a mirror because it's a lot. Actually, a hand mirror with what glyph of warding on it. What the fuck am I supposed to do with this? It does. I mean, I know I'm handsome, but I don't need to be reminded of that. Oh boy! It's That's what she had. It does explosive. It does explosive five d eight damage. It's nice. a glyph of warding. So she. Had. I'm not sure I'm the person I would trust for this, but here we go. It's better than okay, maybe Pogo. I'm like, would it be better to give it to Pigeon? No. No. I don't think any of us are okay, so is it Let's a, give a baby. Is it a cone? Is it an AOE? <laughs> right. It's a cone. It's, 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 it's basically it's a yeah. hand mirror. I'm the guy who's and behind you loading. He, like, has, you he has to have the mirror turned <laughs> yeah. like towards the enemy. <laughs> and simply by just him, you know, boom. Okay. It'll like slow so, outwards. I will say that's which... fantastic. I'm going to allow it. No <laughs> rules required. Uh, that being said, you guys are in the middle of two or three groups of enemies. So this is not like the ideal situation. Uh, so I will need some sort of group <laughs> athletics check to okay. get them oh, bunched no, I'm up. I'm just leaving. <laughs> You're just gonna leave. Yeah. Yeah, I kind of. One was to scatter. Do my oh, scatter. Oh, yeah. Cheese it. Exactly. It's gonna unleash my back. Again, board, if we leave Pogo behind, him. it's fine because he's not anybody else. Yeah. I'm That's gonna cool. say, and I don't have a criminal record on him. Five. I'll do five d eight. I'll do like five d eight thunder damage just to specify. Okay. 
So you have this thing. Yeah, I'm still even. Okay. So you have a, you just have a bomb. Here. Yeah. Cool. I need that for later. <laughs> Oh, I was right. say, I was like, what would Alana have that you could fit in your pocket? A mirror. She would have a mirror. Right, so, for the purposes of leaving, though, Damn, you deal handsome. five damage to one guy. He's still standing, and there are two people in your way. So, it's going to be a bit kind of rough to cheese in. Like, they're going to stab you oh, a couple times. Oh, that's fine. What are you doing? Hence why I'm going to, to uh, channel divinity so that uh, everybody wants to attack me, and they cannot leave within 30 feet of me. Okay. Did, wow. I, did, is that multiple people? Or I thought it was one person. No, it's everybody within 30 feet. And they have to make wisdom saves? Yeah. Sweet. They beat a t- if they get or beat a 12, they succeed. Five d- Dude, good. Right. The wording is ridiculous. Yeah, for Five sure. D- right. Jesus. Okay. So, for the purposes of <laughs> maximum dramatic tension, uh, two, three of them, including the captain, failed saves. Would you like them to be spread out or like one specific alleyway? I would like him to be able to escape. Sweet. All right, so they have disadvantage on attacking him? Yeah. All right, so you bull rush your way through them. They swing on you. They're trained specifically to prevent you from doing this thing. And they fail. Nice. Right. So you're able to cheese it. And they cannot leave to go chase you. Yep, good. All right. Pigeon. Well, I was going to unleash the bag of boars, but I think now I'm just going to, you know, flip lizard and chase just after. Just, like, leap onto the ceiling and then run on the ceiling. You have a climb speed, right? Yeah, yeah, I do. I've got, I've got quick climb. Okay, so. so you can just leave. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. They just watch. It's very, very unsettling as this like creepy orphan just like stickies up to the ceiling and starts crawling. Right, I'm gonna make a morale check for these guys. They're not a fan of this. No, I would imagine they are not, especially now that I've got the crab arms helping me now. <laughs> 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 well, I the crab arms were like dangling down, like fighting at them, so they can't even like do anything. <laughs> sort of flopping. Every once in a while, they like reach up, the crab arms like slaps it away. <laughs> yeah. All right. So are you following Fawns? Yeah. If you could, as you are running away, could you uh, like explode the area I'm currently in with all of them surrounding me? No, I need this mirror. I'm going to die. You're going to be fine. They're not going to kill you. They're probably going to kill they're me. They're just going to detain you. At this point, having helped you escape, they're probably going to kill me. All right, I'll throw the mirror. No. I was going to use that for a booby <laughs> trap later, but... I'm so, I don't want to die yeah, a lot. Fair. I can't argue with that. Yeah. All right, so you toss the mirror. Yeah. And uh, we're going to smash cut to Alana. Cool. Uh, you are attempting to get through a prison riot with Oleg. Yeah. If there ever was a person to get through a prison riot with, yeah. Yeah. it would be a like naked, a angry burden. barbarian. He's yeah. having a great time. He is hitting a goblin with another goblin. Just <laughs> <laughs> Go- oh, wait, are the goblins on our side? Uh, it's, it's I mean, it's a prison far, riot, like, in all fairness. Yeah, yeah. Know who you are. Fair yeah, enough, yeah. Yeah, you're an and also, I, I'm sorry. Dude. I'm sorry. Yeah. For a hot second, face took over. Alana doesn't care. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Alana's getting out. She doesn't care about everybody else. <laughs> All right. So I'm gonna need some sort of acrobatics or athletics check because stealth is no longer a thing. Like it is wall to wall, angry, yeah. previously incarcerated uh, flesh. Where is? Oh, athletics. Ah, oh, shit. Or <laughs> um, well, acrobatics. I'll do acrobatics because I have a plus two in that. Cool. <laughs> Um, yeah, someone th- roll me a d20. Okay. All the way down here. It's not me. I'm not doing that. That's, ooh, Uh-oh. it's a four. I have no more inspiration, so I got a six. Okay. Oh, no. So you take a couple shanks through the ankles <laughs> on the way through. Shankles, yeah. Good old shankles. But Alana isn't the, uh, four hit point wonder she used to be. And also it was three damage. Okay, yeah, cool. I can move that. Even if she was a four hit point wonder, she'd still be alive. Still be alive. Yeah. Got him. Also, I have cure wounds. That's true, yeah, you're fine. Good I got good berry. berry. <laughs> so helpful. Let me give you one hit point back. You're All really right. full, though. How many good berries can one eat? One it's, per it's, pound. It's, it's, yeah, it's, it's lamba spread, essentially. Uh, so you're all full up after one. Yep. My house rules would be if you ate more than one, it would be like overeating. Could you vomit? You might have to roll some con saves. <laughs> no. Can you use good berry to control your weight? <laughs> no. Uh, In anyway. one direction, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Weight gain 4,000. <laughs> <laughs> Shoveling down these good berry pies. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right, anyway. Okay, so you are at this point able to escape, actually. All right, cool. cool. Make it down, cool. headed to the escape route underneath the other building. Well, there's an escape route under every building. Well, I, I figured, I thought they were connected. Like, I was supposed to go yeah, meet you guys there. Yeah, last, but you, no, you just get out. We'll be back at the place. Oh, okay. So wait, I just have to get out with Oleg? Oh, great. You, you gotta shake I thought Oleg. that's, that's what you were business. doing. Yeah, but now I have to. Oh, I, like, I thought. I, I thought you other people were going to be there. You can lose him in the sewers. That'll be fine. Or just you, take him back to your place. If you want, you can wait for them. 
also. Um, we we'll go. We'll wait for a little bit. Like okay. we're not gonna wait for forever, but we're gonna wait. You know, give it some time. So you're where exactly? Uh, underneath your guys. She's down okay. in the tunnel. Okay. Waiting for you guys for to. Excellent. Okay. And a briefcase full of a lot of information. <laughs> yeah. I assume Oleg is very cold. He seems fine. Naked. Right. He's a hot-blooded barbarian. He's good. Ooh. Yeah. Hey. You get the feeling that the gruel lifestyle probably uh, involves a lot of sleeping with no shelter <laughs> mm-hmm. in the woods yeah. or uh, various parts of the Rebel Belt. Uh, you've heard stories about that place. It's pretty fucked up. Yeah, Hickory Hand Mike. Yeah. <laughs> we did hear about Didn't Hickory Hand Mike. Moving along. To, yeah. yeah, that's going to be sometime later. We're going to go on an expedition for Hickory Hand Mike. Okay, meanwhile, back here. Uh, a mirror shatters. Yeah, everybody in the area takes 5d8 damage. Sweet. Unless we succeed on a um, reflex slave, which I will not. Well, I, my thing, it, being on the mirror, it explodes that direction. Well, yeah, but yeah, we're but all... I just th- threw it behind me. Yeah. Oh, and just yet saw it boom? Yeah. yeah. Fuck. You've got a shield. It's, it's going to be fine. I feel like it we fine. established that you tossed it to him. Like, that's oh, okay. That's use it. I yell boom. I'll be like, throwing it. before you arrest me, can you read this piece of paper real quick? <laughs> <laughs> like one of those? Yeah. Except for it's a mirror instead of a piece of paper? Yeah. I'm just going to say boom when it, you know, lands near me. All right, roll a deck save then. Cool. Do your thing. Check away. God, God damn it. <laughs> you gotta, it's between yeah. your feet. You now. need less angle. We gotta angle. build you a backboard. We need we to get another camera to do rolls on this end of the table. Okay. I'm just going to, uh, yeah. That's impossible. I got a two, so I failed. Sweet. Roll 5d8 damage. I will. These are not d8s. Uh, These are d8s. I have no more inspiration to help you, dude. No, don't worry about it. He's built a Eleven. Uh, 18. And I rolled too many dice. So I'll roll this one again. Uh, 18 plus 7. 25. 25. He survives just fine. Yeah, I'm fine. Soldiers don't make deck saves. You, You laugh. They need to pass. Oh, oh, oh. I laugh in the face of oh, danger. One lives, oh. one dies. What's the what's the di- difficulty on this again? Five. Uh, it's your spell safety C. Yeah. Oh, that sucks. Fourteen. Okay. One soldier down. One soldier absolutely killing it. Soldier who was already wounded, dead as fuck. Uh, ooh, that guy passes. He's nearly dead. And then one dude super dies. And then the super captain gross. also takes twenty-five damage, and is dead as hell. Yeah. Uh, is he dead or unconscious? It, it was a one, so... Uh, he rolled a one, so we will say dead. Damn it. Yeah. Nat one? Oh, poor okay. Sorry. Sorry, <laughs> he's going to lead back to us? No, I wanted to capture him. Oh. Oh, can you also clean up? For just nefarious purposes? That fight? Yeah. Yeah, I can deal with it now. Yeah, good. Yeah. So, Are you, just having you toss a mirror like and you throw it on the ground. Yeah. All these Zorius people... Particularly the captain who has Arcana, who's just, just like, get down! They try to, like, phalanx with their shields, but uh, that does not work, as there is an explosion of pure magical force that uh, turns them into jelly. I don't know if you guys have ever, and also some of them just fucking die. Like, if you're close enough to an explosion, your nervous system can just turn off and not turn back on. And that happens to a couple of them. Cool. Uh, That's fair. You're still alive. Yeah. <laughs> How many hit points do you have, buddy? Eleven. Eleven. Oh, you're fine. That's yeah, I'm totally fine. Level. I'm not even worried. Yeah. The smoke clears. Uh, the two remaining guys are going to make a morale check with disadvantage. Uh, they're going to run. Uh, I am going to hunt them. What? <laughs> yes. Because no they know your face now? They know my face. No witnesses. Yeah. Good guy. Uh, also, they cannot run. <laughs> so they me. go to run, they get to the edge of the field and like stop and look at each other, and then the silhouette above them, you're out of uh, focus for the camera, mm-hmm. the hammer comes up. Yep. <laughs> uh, oh, God. And we'll call it there. You don't have, we don't have to play Yeah, it. they're very dead. Bonk! Yep. Super dead. <laughs> All right. Uh, meanwhile, Jabroni Squad, you yeah. have escaped. Yeah. What, are you, what are you doing? Find go to the Hall, Hall of Records. Records? You find the Hall of Records. All right, I'm going in. Okay. Just kicking open the door. All right. This would be more helpful if I could read. (laughs) It's fine. You're here for a reason. Okay. What what reason? You'll see. All right. What would you like to do? Uh, There are records all over the place. Yes. I'm looking for two specific records. What are they? Um, They are the records to any operation with the name Laughing Mask and Silent Storm. All right. Roll me an investigate check, please. Uh, 22. Not, 22. Not a natural 20. All right. Uh, you are able to find the file pretty easily. I'm trying to find the actual stat block for the thing I want to use. I was holding the files, and that was crap. Quality. 
So you find the uh, files that are uh, sort of like, these are from the Liev building, but they've been archived over here because they've stopped the investigation because they couldn't find anything. So weird. Mm. Mm -hmm. uh, you go to grab the book and pull it out, and it does not come out. It, like, it is like magically resisting you. They're magically it, resisting. I thought it was my fruit. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> They're magically At which point, <laughs> uh, several of the books elsewhere around you guys, you're the first person to notice this, mm -hmm. then you, come, like, they just all fall on the floor at once and then form into a golem. A walking atlas? Yes. It's actually Excellent. the book golem from uh, yes, the I original Orzori. You know, know exactly, exactly what I'm what talking, talking about. about. Yeah. Yes. He gets counters, you can draw cards. <laughs> Yeah, it's a terrible card. It's it so is bad. Card. But he's a wall. But they're pretty badass. They're CR3, so it's going to be fun. Can be fire? Anyway. Like, I feel like books are pretty flammable. Yeah, but yeah. these are magic books. All right, so one's going to close the distance and punch you with All a right. fist made of books, which, oh, that would actually really hurt. Yeah, so that would be very painful. a bunch of telephone books at once. Yeah. Hardback uh, telephone books. Oh, he got a nine. Like not good enough. not going to hit it, yeah. The other one is going to point, like, its hand is made of scrolls, and it forms a bunch of, like, small sort of paper planes and fires them rapid fire at you. <laughs> cool. That's uh, super you know, cool. You know we've got about the ropes when they're using the paper airplane. This is a cool way to die. It rolls a nine. What's your armor class? Oh, I think Probably like more than nine. nine. Literally has to be more than ten. Yeah. <laughs> Mine's twelve. Bomb-ass book golems beefed it super hard right uh -huh. now. Uh. Yeah, that's fourteen. <laughs> Okay, so you just get out of the way. Yeah, I do. And a lot of the paper planes sort of like, <laughs> don't even <know. laughs> yeah, Just do what paper planes just do. Just fly back and hit him in the eye. Uh -huh. <laughs> if he had eyes, yeah. All right. Uh, what would you guys like to do? I guess we're going to murder some books. Yeah. Yeah, that seems about right. Because reading is um, radical. I've got, let's see. You go. You i got to look up the spell what? that I want. For laughing at my bad joke. Flaming sword. Yeah, I was like, I'm going to do something. Uh, I'm going to uh, attack the book that's punching me. Okay. I, I'm gonna stab him once, then with my other action, I'm gonna shoot him with my crossbow. Sweet. Do those things. Uh, maybe we'll see. Uh, so the dagger will get not a lot. Yeah, not arena. enough to hit. The uh, leather, the leather binding turns your blade. You know, fair. <laughs> yeah. No. <laughs> well, I'm a struggle. You shoot him dead center with a crossbow bolt, and then it occurs to you that that might not be like. The most successful way to find a book. Let's see. This is what my teachers always warned me about. Nope. <laughs> Beware of books. One, one day you may need to learn how to read. Okay. I like the idea that if you start reading it, it loses hit points or something. You start ripping parts off and reading them. <laughs> no. It's like if somebody tore out your internal organs. We're like, look, this is your stomach. Duh, gross. Yeah, you would also probably take some hit point damage. I would be upset, but I'd be fine. That's because you're an elf and you have two stomachs. I'm going to cast Flaming Sphere. <laughs> what? Oh, That's a yes. spell you have? Yes. Yep. yes. It's, it's my very first the second level spell. The plan worked perfectly. Yep. So I'm going to go ahead and cast that. So your first second level spell you said? Yeah. The plan worked perfectly. Right. Do you have to roll for it? Um, no. Right. No. <laughs> Let's pull All up right. Flaming Sphere. This will be a... I also don't know what this spell does. Uh, what it does is it makes a 10-foot sphere that you can control with concentration. You can move it around, and things inside it take 2d6 fire damage. Also, our escape plan was lighting this library on fire once I got these records. So, yeah. so for vulnerability, just uh -huh. hypothetically, yep. if paper had a vulnerability to fire, sure. Yep. do you roll twice as many dice, or do you just you roll the damage? Uh, I personally prefer twice as many dice, but you can do either way. I think twice as many dice sounds pretty fun. Yeah. All right. Mostly because it get like it lessens the possibility that you just roll two ones and get got. You got to make a, a yeah. deck save first. I that is also a, true. These books, <laughs> golems have to make a deck save. I hope they yeah. have decks, crazy decks. What's the DC? Uh, spell What's your spell DC. save DC? Oh, um, uh, spell save is also fourteen. Rolling at a minus one. Eight. Fail, yeah. fail. There you go. Four D six. <laughs> Burn them down. All right. So that is a, what is that, 13? 13 damage yeah. to both. Excellent. Nice. Uh, I will give you a point of inspiration if you also start a fire that yes. will have deleterious <laughs> that, effects. That's good. We want to start yeah, a fire. Yeah, that's right. Like, this, she doesn't have a whole lot of control over these spells. This is new. Yeah, so, I mean, it yeah, makes a 10-foot right. by 10-foot sphere. You're good. There's going to be some collateral damage. Sweet. <laughs> also, again, part of point. the plan. <laughs> All right. Our escape is the fire. So yeah. shit is on fire now. You get one inspiration. Nice. 
<laughs> there might be some con saves in your future. All right. You've just awakened an arsonist. Meanwhile, Pogo, there's a bunch of bodies. And a discarded and, horse uh, uniform. You stand triumphant you over uh, six corpses. Cool. Seven corpses. Cool. What would you like to do? Um, I would like to take the signet from the captain. All right. Done. Cool. And then I would like to try to find these jabonis. Okay. Oh, it's not hard. Just follow the smoke. Yeah. Oh, I will. All right. So at the bottom of this combat round, you'll yeah. show up. Cool. Back at the top, book elementals. They don't like being on fire. They're both going to attack pigeon. Are they novel mentals? <laughs> Novella mentals? Novella mentals. Excellent. Get one point of inspiration. Yeah, that All was right. nice. I'll take it. <laughs> All right. When you play with nerds. Well, 14 is the lowest one. You have an intimate one. knowledge of Magic the Gathering when you play Magic the Gathering. The lowest RPG. one I got is 14. Also, uh, when they start their turn in the Flaming Sphere, they take just... damage again. Oh, were? Yeah. How My much damage? 2d6. Oh, Lord. Well, they make another reflex save, but yeah. What did you say your armor class was? 14. 14. Okay, so both of them are going to hit you. But first, they have to make deck saves. Against 14. Against 14 to not continue to burn. Uh, they both fail. Obsidian Fireheart. So they're just going to keep keep on burning. They might just die before they hit you. That's 6, great. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 26. So on the money, they burn immediately. Very nice. One of them, both of them go to swing, and you can tell that you're about to get punched in the face twice by two different things. And then right before it happens, they sort of, like, lose consistency and turn into piles of burning books. Nice. Cool, 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 Just, cool. like, blowing the ash that's in the air. Uh-huh. <laughs> like, it's a fun new All right, Fonz, what would you like to do? I'm trying to get that book out. Okay, no longer magically resist. Good, I will start grabbing books. All right. You arrive. Cool. Um, <laughs> they are just burning books for no reason. Yeah, <laughs> you don't yeah. know that they were fighting anyone. <laughs> it wasn't part of it. Yep. <laughs> We're Manic Vandal They just now. started a fire. Yep. There's a uh, flaming sphere. Good arson, guys. I'm going to go look for something. I would like fires on two people. Okay. So it's being Steve on the Baron. All right. Roll me that investigate check. Um, uh, it's going to be a disadvantage because this place is on fucking fire. That does make sense. Yeah. <laughs> yeah we're going to try to get away now. All right. It's a good thing uh, someone yeah. else thought to do just cat. files I got on the Baron. Uh, no, my intelligence is a zero. Aww. So I got a 12. All right. Roll again. No, I got a four, four actually. <laughs> <laughs> this is a real shit show of a situation. Oh. Like, uh, I'm just going to contribute to the arson then. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, what would you guys like to do? So we're we're booking it. Yeah. Okay. I got the books I needed. Are you going I to tell me when you're leaving? Because I'm yes. having fun pouring gas I'm yelling, we're leaving now. Okay, I'll follow you. All right. So you guys turn, go to leave. Uh, there is a whooshing sound. Like, uh, if you've ever been, like, in an actual hurricane, it's like that level of wind. Uh, it comes through the room and puts out all of the fire, just like. Whew, Aww. Uh, and standing in your way is a creature made of cloud, but it has a breastplate and a helmet and a sword, and it is uh, surrounded by whirling winds. And this is a, uh, I believe it's Wind Rider Elemental. <laughs> from cool. Cool. Oh boy. Um. It's gonna be fun. All three of us are here. This is true. And then we'll go back to setting the cut, fire. Cut scene to the sewers. Oleg is kind of sort of just tapping his foot with his you little hang over his shoulder. She's Alana's, yeah, Alana's Alana's leaned up against the side, oh, checking her nails. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, Play, like plucking at a loot, and then like he has like some beef jerky that you don't know where it came from. Yeah, <laughs> not gonna, not gonna ask yeah. either. He's naked. He's got beef jerky. It's yeah. fine. Oh boy. What might say a make beef jerky at any time? Yeah. Oh no. Oh man, this guy's so cool. He gets to do a bunch of crazy shit. Cool, cool, cool. <laughs> Alana's like tuning her violin. Being on fire. <laughs> One way to find out. Is wind weak against fire? <laughs> I don't all know. Right. We're going to find out. Science. So it, with its sword, just sort of like moves through all of you, and the room fills with clouds. Uh, I need you all to make DC 13 strength saves or be flung against various walls and furniture. Okay. Strengths, you say? Yeah. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. I'm good. A 20. Nope. Two. Nine plus, what am I doing? Is it just a strength? Oh, strength. strength. Uh, yeah, that's a that's an eight. Well, I'm cool. Oh, can I flash back real quick? Yeah. Uh, not for anything serious, just to have used lay on hands on myself to gain twenty five hit points. Yeah, sure. It's a bonus action. <laughs> Otherwise, you'll be unconscious. <laughs> yeah, mostly that. So I'm at thirty six again. All right. How many? If you want, you can just use my face. Damage <laughs> race. Am I taking? Leave it. Leave it. Uh, open. So you are flung twenty feet into a bookcase. Uh, you take. 18 damage. Oh, okay. 
Both of us? Yes. Cool. Uh, for you, it's a question <laughs> of uh, not being able to hold on to things long enough. And for Pogo, it's mostly hour. about surface area. Yeah, yeah. There's just a lot more Pogo to blow out of the way. Mm -hmm. And that was his cool so recharge on a four through six. Damage? Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. Oh, boy. Aw. All right. He does a sweet pose with his sword. Round two. Fight. I want to start uh, stabbing. All right, it's your guys' turn. Just run. Can I you make a religion check to see if I know no, anything about what you might be weak against? Yes. The fire cool. comes up what files we took. Um, Did some stuff, like, some stuff was already on fire. It probably burned up right, a lot. I'm going to seven, so a nine. Probably yeah, not much. Like uh, yeah, you know it's probably resistance against, like, non-magical oh, yeah. attacks. Cool. Also, burning the entire yes. library would just be good anyways. You don't know anything that's weak against. Yeah, but you're all going to die, so. I think I might actually... Do Try the same. All right, so you guys are in combat right now, so you you size it up, and what do you want to do on your turn? Uh, what I would like to do is um, proceed up to him and attack. All right, two times. Use Hit your, him twice. Uh, oh, I planned to. Oh, yeah, you're smite arena. So that misses. Boy. Yeah. Just not. And that is a 14? 14 is not going to do it. Oh, boy. Um... You're staggered a little bit from the blow. You just kind of miss. Yeah, well, that's what it is. All right. Um, that cool retroactive smite is nice, though. No. Yeah. You don't have to use it ahead of time. Mm -hmm. All right, who's next? He's doing things. Uh, oh, this is what we do. Pigeon, what are you doing? Uh, so, should I... No, nah, I'm just going to wild shape and attempt to get sort of bite and go. I would like to get out of this room. Time to run away! Yeah. Okay, we need the fire, guys. We have to kill this guy. Why do we need a fire? Yeah, fire was never part because of the Because a fire plan, covers so. up what we took. Actually, that's fair. There's is a that lot more of important stuff that was than... already on fire, though. Again, like, but it's a, a lot, lot easier damage. to figure out if eight books were burned what was taken than if all the books were burned. That's just cool. We'll yeah. figure it out. But I have a plan! Yeah, that sounds like a him problem. That's so, a non like there said. was a non-zero amount of fire. Yeah. <laughs> like, yes, but again, the more books that are burned, the harder it is for them to figure it out. It is what it is. Sometimes you get a will window mental. And Again, sometimes you stab it. it we're, you're at the center of Azoria's power. This is the part where, like, their actual response is yeah. happening now. Uh, so you guys might want to cheese it. Yeah. I don't know if I can cheese yeah, it. Yeah, I'm just I trying can to take a hit from the Dungeon Master. Let's get out of here. I'm trying to leave. All right, so you could wild shape into, I don't know, like a kangaroo rat? Uh, yeah, I'm thinking <laughs> Swarm of Insects. Ooh. And buzz out. Swarm yeah. of Insects in a, in a windstorm? Sounds great. Let's I mean... Have you considered like a like a uh, flying squirrel and just ride that for an hour? Help! <laughs> I'm trapped. <laughs> <laughs> I've the wind elemental's like I have captured one of them. <laughs> the squirrel's just like pigeon. No, just yeah, it's time to go big. Uh, I'm gonna be a giant hyena. And go. I hope you poop all the way out. For sure. I'm just cackling and shitting as I Perfect. go. Perfect. That is what I wanted. Perfect. As I want to hear a hyena laugh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It's still pigeon. So. Yeah. so you turn into a hyena and flee? Yes. Sweet. Yeah. Roll me an athletics check in your hyena form. Okay. That you is, yeah, ask. much better than my athletics. Because my athletics is not great. Okay. Is that a seven? Okay. Nope. That's a, no, yeah, that's a seven. Okay. Uh, well, it's still only a, a ten. Okay. Ten will do it. Excellent. Bye. Cool. Right, Fonz, what would you like to do? Uh, I would like to escape. Okay. Athletics check, please. Uh, go for it. Run away! 15. Uh, 15 plus uh, 2, 17. If All right. Ten, if 10 made it. You are also able to flee. Pogo! Pogo. Would you like to flee? <laughs> um, I'm going to try to hit him first. Do it! Why, Pogo? Feels right. Hey! Oh, now I'm gonna run away. Yeah, I just can't roll. <laughs> okay. Uh, You're just gonna whip. He throw. He throws a book uh, at him. Uh -huh. and the book misses. Right, just for funsies. For Wait, no. Head. I get two attacks. One Second time. attack. Hey! hey. <laughs> <laughs> Kill him. All right. So I'm definitely gonna smite with a level two slot. Because that doubles um, the amount of dice you roll, which yeah. is nice. Um, triples. What? No. Oh, are you? You add your smite and then you double it. Yes. Which is triple the normal amount. Yes. Okay. Oh. So it again. is going to be in total 48. Sweet. Uh, doubled. All right. Excellent. So, so you, normally you would roll 48. 
Well, yes. Now you're rolling 8d8? Yes, what you're and a d10 okay. for the actual damage. You want and another, another d8? And another d10. Christ. Oh, I've got it. Yeah. Cool. This guy's is plus 2d8 at this level, right? Yeah. All right. Oh, no, it's only three. It's only going to be 68 total. Cool. Uh, so this is. Oh, I hated you there. 10. Yeah. Uh, so it's 18. I had a plan. 19. And then it's going to be three more D8. The plan was to rely on you guys to be yourselves. Uh, so it was 19, and that was a three, so that's seven, nine, 28 damage. 28 damage. All of which counts as magical and all that shit. All right. Well, uh, yeah. Some of it's radiant damage, if that helps. Got him. <laughs> All right, so if you had not been in a riot slash fight for a solid five minutes and you weren't facing this creature alone and it wasn't fresh from wherever it came from, you feel like that could have turned this fight. Yep. But instead what happens is, is that I run it swings away. back. Okay. If you yell, like, I'll come and help you. Yeah, we'll see what happens. All right, my lowest is going to be a 14. That'll miss. And then a 17. That'll also miss. Woo! Oh, good. Yeah, my Excellent. armor class is 19. It's true, yeah. He's a yeah. gross tank. He's yeah. got this. Yeah. So you hit him as hard as you can, and he swings back twice with a sword that is as big as you are. Uh -huh. and you're able to, like, block, and you're actually pushed across the ground a little bit cool. by its swings. Like, this is probably the most intense impact that you've ever suffered, uh, aside from that time that you blew up an entire warehouse and were flung, like, 40 feet. Yeah, yeah. It's on that level, though, which is terrifying, because it's a sword. Yeah, yeah. Uh, at which um, point you were able to flee. Great choices. Cool, cool. Sweet. I kind of wanted to kill it, but I uh, feel like that was not going to happen. <laughs> you can certainly try. Uh, he is not bloodied. No. He is not bloodied? No. Yeah, I'm not Let's trying. Go. Yeah. That right. was That was for all of you to fight yeah. at once and yeah. maybe win. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, I'll just leave. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, in the tunnels. Yep. Meanwhile, in the tunnels, Oleg's like, do you think maybe we should? At which point, all of you, like, oh, covered in yeah. soot, half hit points, bloody, just like, ah, ah. Oh, okay. Let's cheese it. What up? <laughs> hey! Oh, hello, Oleg. Hello. It took you guys long enough. Yeah, what, the, what happened? <laughs> What'd you get? What's the loot? <laughs> uh, a hyena. Still a hyena, yeah. Still a hyena? A giant hyena. You did all this for a hyena? And no. rescue you? It's a you joke, Oleg. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's a joke, Oleg. Let's go. No, don't tempt me like that. I will end this campaign on you did all this for a hyena. <laughs> okay. So, we can resolve some aftermath here. Uh, you guys also did not get Steve, so that's no. going to be a problem. Yeah, we yeah. did not. Come back later for Steve. Yeah, I mean, we, got, we tried to get records on Steve, but that didn't pan out. All right, so... Your guys' ability to perceive what is happening upstairs is limited to the vibrations in the earth as you are carefully traversing the undercity. Uh, that being said, you sort of feel the weight of what has happened here. Like, this has gone from, like, a caper to a upsetting situation into just a straight-up massacre. Uh, war crime. Yeah. It, it was a war crime. Yeah. Oh, yeah, but we're not guilty. We didn't bring the gruel here. That's true. Sort of. Oh. Oh. Uh, in, re in reality, we did. Part of the plan. In reality, we did not send for the gruel. So oh, sure, my passive but... perception is surprisingly high in this shape, but I feel like I don't want to know what's yeah, happening. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you can hear the screams of people at the edge of your perception. But my Golgari dudes, they're they're chill. They're, they're fine. fine. They're yeah. undead. They don't care. Yeah, everything in the they're also not participating. They're just hanging out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're gonna have so many bodies. For they're just me. they're just laying <laughs> in the sewers, <laughs> going uh, <laughs> 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 making weird <laughs> noises. <laughs> <laughs> to the sounds of the As you get into one of the larger caverns, you actually do see the uh, corpse wagons lining up to get ready to come out of the dead bridge and take away all of the bodies and burnt matter and stone from uh, what has happened here. Good business today. Cool, cool. Yeah. Where do you guys go? What do you do? Well, we gotta lay low for a little bit. Yeah, let's just go deep into the under. Where was your old where you lived at? Oh, we're gonna follow me back to my old hidey hole. Someone That's right. Definitely found me there. Not that you ever know. They were murdered was, before you woke yeah, up. Yeah, that's true. So I here's the thing. Sleep. I believe I actually said this on camera at one point. Uh, Scarab did not clean up the bodies, so you just woke up to some corpses. <laughs> that's 
that's chill. Yeah, but how is that any different than a normal day in the Undercity? Yeah, yeah they could have died. Sometimes you just, you know, you brush your teeth, and there's <laughs> it's a corpse just like, just like floating skeleton. by. It's fine. You're just flossing, and there's a corpse. Yeah. So the camera starts on those three, at this point, skeletons of people who came to kill Pigeon once, a con- once upon a time. Uh, all of you are in this dank cave that is bioluminescently lit. Yeah. Uh, there is lit. a crowl death priest, like picture a praying mantis with a wooden mask over its face who is che- like checking Pigeon over for uh, <laughs> any bleeding wounds and sort of like holding her close protectively from you guys and chittering very angrily. Uh, Scarab. Uh, what, what, what does it want? You shut up. <laughs> he's a good mother, <laughs> and you do not fight him. I know, I just, he's We're just chittering angrily. Back and forth and yeah, he's back thinks going. you beat Pigeon up, and he doesn't like you about it. Why? Or at least you allowed Pigeon to come to harm. I did the opposite of all that. I'm well, telling, yeah, I'm but. Scarab it's not it's important. Like, no, it's like, uh, you're you're know, translating for them, or you're telling Scarab oh, no, what happened? I'm just telling Scarab what happened. Yeah. It was a very exciting day. It was a Okay, so I want to hear what you say to Scarab <laughs> in Pigeon's voice, because that is relevant. That sounds dope, yeah. Well, it's insectoids. It's. Uh, all right. We broke into a great big building and there was lots of fire and death. And <laughs> I didn't die. I was a giant hyena at one point and there was books that hit me or they tried to hit me, but I set them on fire. <laughs> That's what she says. And then we came here. That is what happened, yeah. yeah. It was fun. Scare's just like, you're safe now. I won't let anything happen to you here. And that's all she says. Aww. I love Scarab. No. Yeah. He's a good mom. <laughs> meanwhile, yeah. you guys are trying to Just figure out what the hell is happening. Yeah, meanwhile, we're arguing about the merits of chittering. Yeah. <laughs> all right, so this is the yeah, first moment of peace that you guys have had in, like, probably a week. Yeah. And nothing appears to be happening. Peace. <laughs> has, has it finally been established that Scarab's not going to just murder us? Yes. No, she hasn't. If she was going to murder you, she probably okay, would. Okay, then I'm going to sit down and do some reading. Yeah, you would be dead already. I'm going to do some reading. Yeah. Yeah, ADA Blight. Is uh, nothing to fuck with. Mm-hmm. Fucks you up real good. Um, I'm going to organize the briefcase of information I took. Okay. Just so it's not all poking out. And then I'm going to put a glyph of warding on the inside. So only me, so only I can open it. Fucking explodes if someone else opens it? Yeah. For now. For now. Because I don't want someone to fucking take it from us. Okay? I'm also going to tell Scarab about the ghost. We're not going like to look at it weird, right weird this minute. We're tired. I'm reading books. Read the books all you want. I'm not looking at these I'm files to today. We're okay. tired. So I put a glyph of wording on the thing so that it explodes if anyone me tries to open it for now. All right, short. Was these three people that attacked, were they the ghosts that came to no. try and... Okay. Actually, yes. yes yeah, they, they were. Yes, they were. 100% they were. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Excellent. All right. Yeah, definitely telling Scarab about it and maybe kicking the skeletons a little hey. bit. Uh-huh. You disturb the bones of a dead person. Yeah. That's I take more cool. finger bones. Because nice. <laughs> I defeated them a second. I didn't defeat them at all, but definitely defeated them a second. You time. participated in that. I did. I, definitely yeah. I defeated the shit out of them. You sure did, man. <laughs> <laughs> sure did, buddy. You do you, Pogo. You do you. Mm-hmm. So you guys definitely get a five minute rest. Uh, so you can spend hit dice, regain hit points. Uh, I was about to say, hold on a second. I've got a thingy about that, I think. Yep, I'm just going to read. Um. So what are you reading? The two books that I stole. The, book, the material and the operations that I stole. Okay. I, the only things I have on my person that are relevant because she has all the other data. So okay. wait, do we have, is this technically a short rest? Yes. Yeah. Okay, well I have Song of Rest, so everyone gets 1d6 of extra health. Cool. Nice. Sweet. All right. All right, so how are we, how are we going to do this? Are you guys keep, one. you guys are like both reading stuff? She's not, she's just organizing it. I'm reading and I assume not sharing with each other? Not at the moment. At like, the moment. it just, right now, this is not the time to go over our loot. I'm just trying to get it so that if someone takes it from us or, you know, what have you, I'm they can't read what we have. So it can be extracted if necessary. Okay. So yeah, I, we plan on sharing all, or I plan on sharing the information with her later. I'm just not going through it right now. I'm more focused on it getting safe and getting it fully extracted. I think you teach me to read. It's about time someone did that. I'll teach you to read demonic. It's way easier. <laughs> All right. It's just going to be standing over your shoulder. It's like, these strange glyphs. So this word is blowback. That means people who die on accident. Yeah. <laughs> this, uh, this word means investigation. That's a bad thing. <laughs> this is expendable asset. That's like uh, Olay. What? <laughs> uh, <a> prolific fighter. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, so do we want to do, like, secret 
people gaining knowledge while other people are out of the room? Or do we want to fast forward to when you guys share information? Or, like, what are we doing? I don't care. Like I said, I'm not hiding anything at the I moment. I wasn't told specifically not to reveal this information, so... Yeah, let's just do it communal style. Okay. Family style. So do you go yeah. back to your apartment, or do you, like, find a safe house, or what's the plan? Um... But Let's wait know. like three days. Yeah. In the sewers? Yeah. Uh, I'm going to go try to find Swap Coast. Okay. Uh, that's going to be difficult. I'll tell you right now. That's like a I'm whole just adventure. I'm people where Swap Coast is currently. I'm just killing time. I'm not trying you to. You think I'm going to tell you where Swap Coast is? Hey, that's our most sacred place. <laughs> yeah. And it moves. I don't know where it is right now. But don't you guys use that as the basis for understanding where anything is down here? <laughs> I'm lost. <laughs> <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> oh, fibble thip. I'm go gar right now. <laughs> well, went in the undercity. <laughs> gotta do what you gotta do to get by. Uh, anyway, uh, so you're probably not able to find Spock, though. So you hold up for several days. Uh, you have one, parentheses, one visitor in that time. Who is it? Uh, Ludmill of the Tunnel Viper with a retinue of uh, oh. erstwhile Golgari. Well, what are we supposed to get for her? The location of uh, the dust jacket. Uh, dust mantle? Yeah. Yeah, we completely forgot yeah. that. And Ludmilla is just like, yeah. hello. Uh, I sure hope you accomplished what you were setting out to accomplish up there, because, whoo, that was a body count. I guess. Which I guess wasn't I all our body count. I guess I should thank you. That's certainly keeping us busy. You're welcome. <laughs> Remember us next time you need a party. Hmm. <laughs> Of course, there is the little uh, detail of what you owe me for safe passage through the Undercity. So, weird thing about that, it got a little more hectic up there than we anticipated. We didn't do the same. Oh, no. That's... I know that at least one of you knows the location of what I want, which is, where is Dusk Mantle? That's what I want. It doesn't exist. It does exist. I don't know what that is. Which one of us would know? Uh, I can't really answer that. <laughs> can, can, does she, let's see. Do you want to roll an insight check? Yeah, actually. I'm going to go ahead and roll insight. I've got some sort of position that I can do for that as well. Well, all right. Not that great. That's only a seven. Yeah. I will also roll insight. One hell of a poker face. No. Nope. I have advantage. Hey. Oh. So that's a 23. 23? All right. Let me actually pull up some stats here. So I think it's in my book. Hey! This shield is super useful. I should have just been like, you have disadvantage because she's wearing a fucking veil, but we're here now. Yeah. Yeah. It's happening. It's more exciting this way. Mm-hmm. No, I'm actually trying to read my party members. Oh, okay. <laughs> to see who, yeah, to see right. who knows where the place is. All right. Mm-hmm. Everybody roll me deception checks. And it's not me, right? <laughs> <laughs> you don't know. It might be. That's an eight. <laughs> <laughs> That's the, and that was the moment that Pogo realized he was the only person in the room that wasn't a Demir agent. Also, uh-huh. also an eight. She's okay. not sure if she's a... Maybe I do, maybe it's hidden. Alana is tired. She doesn't... <laughs> Alright, so what was your insight? 23. 23? Pigeon has no idea what you're talking about. No, Surprise! None at all. <laughs> Pigeon is the only End one statement. She has cool. heard uh, Dusk Mantle before. She's now heard it four times. <laughs> Dust Jacket. Dust Jacket. She's on it. Yeah, we got one from all these books. Look. Yeah. Cool, cool, cool. <laughs> Starts yeah. off. There's a library yeah. upstairs. Pigeon has no idea Yeah. what she's talking about. I heard you. Okay, cool. Um, I have a plus six, and I still got an eight. <laughs> <laughs> you right, I rolled a two. I mean, he rolled like a, a godly score. Like, it kind of amazed this didn't happen sooner. <laughs> yeah, I know, but I'm just saying though. Like, <laughs> all right, you guys are in a hole in the ground, and uh, an uncomfortable truth has reared its ugly head. Go. Well, for him. So here's the thing. We'll get you when we can get you, but right now we need a little time to. Uh, Recoup our energies after our, our exertions. Yeah, sort through our data. No. Hmm. Well, maybe I can help with that. Would you like to come back to my estate? You can Not rest a lot, but like safely. Actually, beats here. That's kind of true. What's the worst that can happen? We get murdered? Yeah. And I would hate to 
have my investment in you be squandered if you were torn apart by uh, Undercity monsters or captured by any of the various bounty hunters who I'm sure are after you. Yeah. Uh, no, that I makes a lot of sense. We, uh, we can monsters. think about that part, yeah. Uh, nope. disguise. <laughs> well, sure. We just turned invisible. But I was so, saying, yeah, Alana wasn't actually the there, according yeah, to the police You are escorted reports. inside of a phalanx of undead, dude, so uh, who are very careful yeah. to make sure that none of you escape. Cool. That's uh, fine. I ain't mean, trying. You find yourself in the mansion. It's, uh, it's, it's got a weird lizard hackle starting to come <laughs> up. It's a lot less uh, nice here. Uh, question for you. Yeah. Does Scarab come with you guys? I think she would probably follow. Okay. But try to remain out of sight, because... She's scared. It's now be, yeah, it's now being... It's, it's clear that, like, we're going, not against our will, but leaving will probably not be something we can do very easily. And that's kind of suspicious. Mm-hmm. So, so there's an exchange that only you catch between Scarab and Ludmilla, which is Scarab says, Pigeon is under my protection. And Ludmilla says... Pigeon is a grown-up who owes a debt. And then they just sort of have a detente. And for a second you feel like they might kill each other, and then they don't. That would have solved a lot of problems. It would have solved a lot of problems. You guys can also just fight these people at any time. Like, that's also an option. Yeah, well... You're level five now. Like, you might not lose. But I do actually owe her. Yeah, like, we should try and come through on this if we can. We're trying not to burn our bridges at the moment. That's true. We have a lot of enemies. She stone by looking at us. Well, you gotta fail a con save by five. Yeah. <laughs> you pass that con save? Joke's on you. I want to be turned to stone. Once yeah. we make it back to Ludmilla's... Bold of you to assume like, I don't want to die. It was all part of the plan. Now get me installed inside exactly the Azorius buildings. Mm-hmm. Dusk Mantle is. Because I still don't know. I don't know what it is. Out of character. I, like, I, I know it doesn't like, exist. That's all I know about it. I don't really know what it is. <laughs> like, out of character, I have no idea. So if, in character, if I do know... And now know. she knows that <laughs> one of you I think we've established at this point that Pogo doesn't know. Yeah. You don't know. These two are uh, not saying that they know. Yeah. I need to, if, just so if we're clear, sense. someone has to let me know if I know, because I don't know what it is. <laughs> so Dust Mantle is the underground base of operations for the Demir. Yeah. So if okay. you happen to be a Demir agent at one point or currently, which I'm not saying anybody is, <laughs> you would know where that place is. Yeah. Uh, okay. So we know that me. you used to be a Demir agent. That is correct. Well, here's the thing. Demir, they were like, hey, we need you to do some stuff. And then she's like, all right, cool. And they're like, hey, we need you to sleep with this guy and murder him. And she was like, all right, slept with him, didn't kill him. And then just kind of bounced out. Like, eh, it's not Kind of hoping me. you would have a heart attack. He didn't. And we're yeah, out. Yeah, she's like, I don't kill people. I just want to have a good time. <laughs> and she kind of bounced out. So she wasn't really, like, that into it. But she's like, just, you might know where it is. Well, once he's described it like that, because, again, out of character, I don't know what that means. Sorry, so it like, took me a while to figure mean? out how I could communicate that information without giving the game away. All right. Well, yeah, they all know that I had spent some time with Demir, but, again, it wasn't like it was that in-depth. keep trying to take me? I just want to know where they come from. And then I'll take care of them myself. Okay. So, if they take me, you could follow them? Pigeon, we don't need bait. We are not using you as bait. <laughs> Unacceptable. It was her deal that she made, and she's just yeah. realizing. She's like, like oh, I could be bait, man. and then, like, Pogo, Scarab, <laughs> just, uh, just like, <laughs> So, you know, out, of, out, of, out of character, would I know this answer? Yeah. Okay. I'm just going to tell her, like, I don't give a shit. <laughs> no, you... uh, I don't care about the Demir in any sense of the word. I find them creepy and almost in a way, like, not necessarily afraid of, but one, I don't like authority. Two, they're shady as shit, and they're going to kill people, and I'm well aware of that fact. So personally, I'm like, I'd rather not get involved with them. If you want to get them, you fucking get them. Well, now, okay. hang a minute now. If you know where Dusk Mantle is, then we could break into Dusk Mantle. I mean, I know where Dusk Mantle is, but I might know where at least where it was. Heist that we that will never be remembered. It's, oh, yeah. it's been it's a like couple of weeks. A heist. <laughs> it's been a couple weeks. Oh, like man. I may have moved since then. I don't know. No. All right. But I don't uh, so let me sit down with you, and for the purposes of like story building, she's like, the Demir are information brokers. They trade in memories. They like to control who knows what and why, and they like to think that they run Ravnica because of it. They don't, and they're a real thorn in the sides of people that do the people that move the earth and bring life from death so they've gotten in my way too many times and they need to be taught some respect about who runs the undercity 
And I think that you might agree with me on that, given your experience mm. with them. Agreed. Why do they want me if they want information? Because you're heckin' fancy. I don't know anything. Because you're going to break into <laughs> Dusk Mantle. I mean, hey, mm. I did offer to make myself bait. Yeah, you're our inside man. This might be an alien concept for you, but I believe they want you for leverage. Your friends care about you a great deal, and I imagine that uh, they could Chokes on use you <laughs> to <laughs> pressure them. Okay. It would seem that they are also entangled. Hmm. I don't really care about that. I don't care about what they're doing. They've done well by me. I simply want what was agreed upon. And she's clearly, like, speaking to the crowd. Like, she's playing to all of you for this while you guys are having tea in this horrible <laughs> undercity mansion with a Medusa. Well, well and this, like, rotting library. It's great. Oh, you can give up the location anytime. Like, I don't know where things are. Like, You can draw a map, like, if you want. Okay, Alana draws a map. Like, she doesn't... You do that. She, she, she now, she's, before she hands it over, you're the only one who's going to see this, and you're the only one who's going to know that it came from me. <laughs> mm, I don't know who this came from, but I am going to use it. She folds it up and puts it away. I suppose you're doing quick. business with you. Hmm. We did the same. Yes. Let's just with hope. only a modicum of teeth pulling. Let's just hope they haven't yeah, moved. That's to be expected. Just hope they haven't moved. We are a cranky crew. Can I offer you an escort to the surface, or would you prefer to stay a while? I think it's about time to go home. Yeah, I'm sleepy. I want All to right. sleep in my own bed. Catch up with us next time when we deal with the fallout of the crazy crap that just happened. Yeah. Are we out of time already? Oh, oh yeah. damn. Six o'clock. This yep. last, like, 30 minutes flew by. Mm -hmm. yep. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Bye-bye now. Be good.